The Concordia lies on its side in a protected environmental marine just off the island of Giglio in the Tyrrhenian Sea on the coast of Tuscany. A complete analysis of sea life and water quality, including mapping seagrasses and coral, will take place prior to the start of the recovery. The 44,600 tons of the Concordia make this the largest and most complex recovery ever attempted. The first operation will be to prevent the ship from sliding down into the depths of the sea. This will happen by attaching it to heavy cables connected to poles that serve as holdback. The second operation will be to install steel plate slings to support the hull and to which we will bind more holdback cables and, later on, flotation tanks. The third operation will consist of placing large sand and cement bags beneath the hull to hold the steel plates and further support the hull. Restraining poles will be drilled into the seabed using a closed circuit technique which guarantees no debris will contaminate the water. In the meanwhile, subsea platforms will be installed to support the ship. These platform sections have a dimension of 40 by 40 meters and will be anchored to the seabed through the restraining poles. Floating tanks will be welded to the hull on the port side of the ship. With flotation tanks and pullers in place, the ship will be ready to move back to its natural position. This will be done via a pulling machine which slowly rolls the ship upright. The holdbacks will assure the ship does not slide down the seabed. To finalize the operations and to make the ship float again, the tanks will be emptied of the water they contain and this will be replaced with air, so lifting the ship from the seabed. Once the ship has departed, we will remove the entire structure used during the recovery operations. Poles will be cut at the seabed level, platforms will be removed and the sea grasses replanted. Great attention will be paid to the marine environment, including water and air quality, taking all precautions to avoid any type of contamination. We intend to do everything possible to restore the original environmental conditions of the island of Giglio.